Hi there, here is Matt from the Somatic Consent Academy and the Somatic Errors Dynamics. In the following session, Jessica will guide you into a hypnotherapy where she is guiding people into the obstacle that they can release, they have built up over their lifetime when it comes to erotic energy in their body. Enjoy and uh, see you at the end. So, since we're doing this journey in a group now, there will be um, a lot of different ways to work with whatever you have that you want to work with. So, I come back to the normal, the best example of this journey, and that is like a phobia. Sea spider, get afraid. Like the emotion comes, the, emotion the feeling comes right away I cannot control it by logic I know that this spider is not dangerous but this feeling is coming anyway and then we do this journey we take the feeling in the body we travel back in time to see where we had it for the first time doesn't have to do anything with spiders but with some part mm. in your life it got connected that feeling got connected with spiders don't even have to remember when that was. And then we just go back, we reprogram that. That's like much from NLP as we talked about. You reprogram that memory and you will not longer be afraid of spiders when you see them. It takes 45 minutes and it's gone. <laughs> That's the easiest way to do it. So I do that with stress, I do that with anxiety, I do that with whatever uncomfortable feeling that you have. So the easiest way is when you can feel the feeling in your body. Where do I have my fear? Where like, or where, if, if I feel, like take stress for example, or self-esteem, like where do, where do I have the feeling of feeling unworthy? Where is that in my body? So if you can start with a bodily sensation, that's perfect. That would be so good for you, but then you will definitely be able to release that. Um, so that means that use your fantasy because when you are in your fantasy, you are close to your subconscious because the mental mind wants to um, do this right and it's impossible to do this wrong. So I say that again, your mental consciousness, like mental mind would like to do this exercise right and it believes that there is a right and wrong. Mm -hmm. There is no right and wrong in your subconscious. So that means when you let, oh, but I just made that up. Then I always say, oh yeah, but why did you make exactly that up exactly now? And then I got the shills because that's when you are in your subconscious mind. Do you get it? So fantasy, whatever is coming up for you, is totally welcomed. So the only thing you should not do is to go to search and place because you have decided from start that this is the place I want to go to. Or if something coming up for you, you are you say that, no, this has nothing to do with it. So you, you push it away. So no pushing away of whatever comes up and no like going to what you have decided from start where you want to go to. So just be open. I will just tell Maria what we are doing because I see that, uh, and then I'll, so we, we start. Yeah, okay. Ja, men då gör du det nu. Jag får inte börja den. Okay. Men sen är det långt. För då gör vi det här ungefär en timme och sen så är vi klara. <laughs> Swedish. Um, so, now to... I'm not giving too much of explanation because I think you are in a perfect state to do this journey anyway. But as an example, that is the... When you can place whatever you would like to change in your body, so that, then you can have the idea that, okay, I want to... Uh, access being orgasmic. Just say that for an example. It's like, okay, where in my body, where do I have the responsible part holding me back from becoming really orgasmic? And then you just go with your intuition and see where do I want to put that responsible part in my body. 
So we use the body a lot to go back and to change that. And your example, Christina, is like, okay, I want to go from dopamine pathway to serotonin pathway. That might not be located in your body. It's not like it's, you could do the way where you go into, okay, so where am I holding myself back here? You could also go like, where, where did I, um, you said it in such a good way, Matt, like something is like, where did I stop that? Wh where did I, do you remember what you said? No. It's, yeah, yeah, it was just like, but this is where I want to explain that you need to translate a little bit in your head <laughs> because I will not be able to use words that fits you all perfect. So if I say, find that part in your body, that uncomfortable feeling, that might be true for some of you. And for some, that will be more symbolically. And you will still be able to go to the places where, where that got connected, sort of. Yes. So when it comes to position, the only thing uh, we are avoiding is to crossing our hands and legs or feet. Otherwise, if you don't cross the hands and feet and legs, you are happy to lay exactly how you want. Perfect. You look so comfortable already, but is there any questions? anything that you so what I will do is I want you to think of the thing your intention with this if it's something you would like to release something you would like to change maybe something you would like to have an answer on like why is this troubling me or whatever that could be, something that you would like to see more of, something you would like to have a clarification about. So even though you're super comfortable already, but can I have some hands up? Do you know what you would like to work with? A little bit, some... So you who do not know what you would like to work with, I want to make sure before we go into the journey that you have something. Is it that you can decide or would you like to have some help? Because I can, I'm happy to help if you say that you have a little bit of an issue or an area, but you need some. So if you need a little bit of a help to find, up with your hand. Otherwise you can take it down. Yes, just say the area or something. I start with Astrid. Okay, so you have like, re uh, uh, um, but that's perfect. If you have um, uh, like, a sensation, like a feeling that you want to, yeah. So it's, it's not so much um, another issue or so. It's like you have something physically in your body. Uh, like not physically, but like you have an emotion. That's, yeah, perfect. So then you will just go to that part and put a place on it and we will, yeah. Yes. 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 Do you go into the switches open mind and see where it takes you or do you need like a fixed thing from the start? Yeah, you can do a general intention of just be clear on things or just have some information about something or um, so could it there be like an area around what we've been doing this weekend that mm. you... Yeah, there's some stuff here. Yeah. yeah. I'm just curious where it takes me, like in what direction I will go. I'm, I'm like want to fix it or something, but yeah, I can fix something. Yeah, so just, uh, yeah, something. just like ask for getting some yeah. clarification or answers openly, what that will give you. Yeah. Were you good, Sarah? No, I have intention, probably I would have a response. Yeah, so you're good, you have something? Yes. <sighs> okay, someone else that need a little bit of a help with where you want to go? Okay, good. So just start with taking a few deeper breaths. 
inhale through your nose and then you choose how to exhale but just allow your body to relax on the exhale inhale through your nose and just allow your body to relax on the exhale maybe you take a few more of these deeper breaths and just allow the body to breathe in its own pace just allow the breathing to come natural now any way it needs to come your body is being breathed for you and relaxation is a passive process so there's nothing you need to do you just need to allow the relaxation to come to your body. So I want you to start to allow your whole body to relax from your feet all the way up to your head. So start with your toes and your feet and just feel how they relax. Start to feel your legs relaxing and if you have muscle tensions it's almost like they turn into this warm oil that's like massage oil rin, like dropping from your body making you warm and relaxed so all the tensions are melting down and all the sounds that you hear around you from me or from outside or from persons in the room you can just include them in your relaxation the birds from outside but even people speaking if that would be what you hear nothing will disturb this process it will just be included in your process and you relax your hips, your belly. You relax every part of your body and just fall into relaxation. And your body is getting more and more peaceful and being right here, right now. You can just follow my voice and what I'm telling you today and put your focus there if your mind is wandering away and then you relax the chest area your back relax your shoulders your arms your hands just relax the neck, all the muscles in your face, the big and the small. You feel that your forehead relaxes. And then you see your inner judge, your inner critic, that little part of your mind that always wants to correct you in right and wrong. I want you to see that part of your mind take a little bit of a vacation. You can ask that part of your mind to actually go and spend some time in the hammock. Say thank you for everything you're trying to protect me from. Thank me for thank you for saying that these things is right and wrong. And right now, I just want you to have a vacation. Go and relax in the hammock and allow my subconscious mind to take over. You might see that part of your mind as a symbol laying there in the hammock, totally relaxing, letting you do this without interfering. So then I want you to just focus on your intention today. Might be an area in your body where you have an uncomfortable feeling, like something that's coming up in situations, something that's triggering you. 
that could be a fear, could be a pattern that you want to break once and for all. And just play with that thing, whatever that is that you would like to change today, put it somewhere in your body. That means it could be an uncomfortable feeling that gets triggers in your body, but it can also be just a responsible part in your body. Maybe you don't feel it that much in your body, but you just put the responsible, the leader of this act or this pattern that you have, or whatever that is, you just put it somewhere in your body. And there's no right and wrong here, just choose where you want to have it. And now you play with putting a form on that part in your body, that feeling. Is it like a round ball or is it an arrow or is it, how is the form or shape of this feeling? Play with putting a structure on it or even a movement. So is it like spinning? Is it contraction? Is it exploding? Is it like itching you? Is it uh, sharp? Or is it just like moving back and forward like a stress feeling? How is the movement of this feeling? And what color is this feeling or this responsible part in your body? What color is it? And there's no right and wrong. Whatever comes up for you is supposed to come up. And this part on your body is what we're going to let go and release today. And whatever comes up for your inner vision will have something to do with this in your life, whether it's understandable or not. So I want you, if you have something that's triggering you, I want you to go into a situation where that triggered you. I want you to go into that pattern when you feel that emotion or you feel that behavior, whatever that is you want to change, or what might just be holding you back. It might not be anything that you're not doing today, but some way where it's holding you back for not going into the new that you really would like to go into. And then when you are in contact with that part in your body, even though you don't might understand it, what's holding you back, I want you to vision your life path everything you've been through in your life, everything, all the situation and sensations, feelings and emotions. So you see your life path in front of you. And I see you see yourself traveling above your life line, this line of everything that happened to you that is stored in you somehow, even though you don't have conscious memories about it. And now you travel above that timeline. You go back in time to a situation where that has a lot to do with the issue you are working with today. So you just see yourself flying above that timeline, going back to a situation that has something to do with this, whether you know it or not. And now you are entering that situation and you go down on your timeline and you see yourself in that situation Whatever comes up in your mind, just allow it to come, even though it's something you did not understand why it has to do with this. And then you just look at yourself in that situation and see, how old am I here? You might be old, you might be young, you might be a child, you might be just two years ago, it doesn't matter. Just look at yourself and see, how old, where am I here? And you just look at that person, you look at that situation. And then you see, what did I feel in this situation? Where the younger version of you, were they happy, sad, worried, 
Were they lonely? Did they feel that they were not enough? What was happening in them? The person that were you, the younger version of you. And then you see, what would I have needed in that situation? And now comes the part where it's no limitations because your fantasy has no limitations. So you could give yourself superpowers. You can give yourself a sh like feelings, emotion. You can give yourself like truths, new truth, like everything that you needed. Beliefs, a new belief. But they could also be superpowers. It could be powers that you could not have had because you were too young. But now it's possible. You can give yourself adult abilities. You can give yourself whatever you needed. So I want you to see yourself going into that situation as the person you are today. Meeting your younger version of you. And when you meet that younger version of yourself, you see in the face of your younger version that they recognize you right away. And that face expression is so much gratitude and love because there is no one closer to that younger version than an older version of yourself. No parent can ever be closer than your future self. And you tell that younger version that you are here. They will never ever need to be lonely again. Because they will always be a more older version of them that can come and help them with whatever they need. And then it is as if you are swinging your magic wand and you are giving them everything they need. That younger person, that younger version of you is now receiving everything they need in that situation. That could be self-love, that can be the ability to say no, that could be just knowing the self-worth or could be ability to understand others. Maybe ability to difference their own feelings from others. Maybe the ability to not take upon other people's feelings. There could be superpowers. Maybe they needed to understand stuff, get understood. They needed to be seen and heard. Whatever they needed to feel their worth inside, know that they are worthy without anything else. You just give it to them now and it transfers to them some from inside. The value that you know your own value, whatever ever happens from the outside. The self-love that nothing from outside can ever take away from you, ever. And you see how that younger version of you is getting so relaxed and happy and feel that it got everything it needed. Maybe if you have close people in that picture you might want to contribute to them as well. So just bring them whatever they needed. Maybe they are parents, siblings, other people in that picture that needed some as well to be able to change that situation. You bring it to them as well. And then you see when this younger version of you have all the things that you needed, how they can handle the situation differently. So just see how they can now be in that situation, even though it might still be tough, they can handle it in a complete different way. And then you see yourself together with your younger version. And is there some belief that that younger version needed to know, to hold for truth in the rest of your life? Maybe there is a belief that they created in that situation that it's not beneficial for them to believe the rest of their lives. So then I want you to see 
how you take that old belief away and then you create a new one and what you tell them in this situation it will go in deep and they will know whatever comes in the future they will know so you just give them this new belief and just tell them what your younger version needs to know to go through life in a different way from this situation and in the future. Perfect. So then you just tell your younger version that you will always be able to come back and you say goodbye for now and you know that you will meet again in a different situation. You can actually come in all ages back to them. A younger version, an older version, doesn't matter. You can always, always meet them whenever they need. And you say goodbye and you take a deep breath and you relax and you let go of that situation and that feeling in your body. Just let go of it. It's no longer needed. Yes. And then you fly up above your timeline again. And you fly back in time to an even earlier situation. Or if you know that you are already done with the first, you just fly to another situation where you can release something else in you. So you go back in time to the really, really first situation where this feeling or got created from the first time or this thing that's in the way for you whatever that now is and without analyzing without interpreting just allow whatever comes up for your inner vision now and you see another younger version of yourself in another situation and if you believe you see nothing just put an age on yourself what is the first age that's come to you and you see that younger version of you in that age. See that in from your inner vision right now. And you look at the situation and you see what's going on here. What did I recognize? Maybe if you are on a journey right now where you want some answers on a behavior feeling that you don't understand then you can find that answer right here in that situation and you see now clearly what this has to do with that little version of me how did I feel what did I experience here you just see that little version of you and you stop everything else what's going on and you go into that situation your older version of you is meeting the younger and that younger version sees you and gets so happy to see you your younger version feels so seen and heard finally this part of themselves is coming to step in to hold them to meet them to be with them for the rest of their life. And you see that gratitude in that younger version's face. And then you start to give yourself all that you gave the other version of you to this younger version. And you fill it up with all that you needed. It could have been these emotions that I say, but it could have been totally different things, skills, achievements. It could be understandings could be this self-esteem or trust, feeling safe and secure, feeling loved, feel the feeling of being loved from inside and that no, no one and nothing from outside can ever take away from them. You just fill them up with that. Fill them up with whatever they need to go through life energized and content and to be able to deal with whatever is coming up 
everything is not easy but you have what you need to be able to handle whatever is coming up and you fill them up and this is never ending you can fill them up and fill them up and fill them up totally you can give them courage happiness, joy, ability to speak up, whatever they needed, the one, the smaller version of you. And you see the body language change, the face expression is changing, you see that that younger version of you is getting everything it needed. And then you can all see how that younger version of you could handle that situation in a totally different way. So you see the whole situation now occur totally different. And if there are other people in this situation that also needed to be filled with whatever they struggle with to be able to change stuff, you fill them up as well. And it goes instantly. Maybe they needed more trust and more believe in themselves or knowledge or love or confident whatever they needed and now you see this situation play out in a total different way safe and secure it might still be painful and that is okay but you can handle it the younger version of you together with the older version of you can handle it and you go into that you handle the situation you see the situation a little bit different. Everything is now occurring in a way where you feel secure to deal with the situation. And then you bring this younger version of you to you. If it's a child, you just take that younger child in your arms and you just show that you will always be there for this younger version. I want you to take all the negative beliefs away from them that they will not benefit them from the rest of their lives and then you put in the ones that they, you want them to believe from this situation and on in life. And you just give them that and you see how they go into that and they believe from inside, from the depth of inside. And there's nothing, nothing from outside that can ever take that away from them. And then you see that younger version of you feeling okay, knowing that you are there. And you tell your younger version that you will come back and you say goodbye. And you now take a big breath and let go of that situation and let go of that feeling or blockage in your body once and for all. <sighs> And then you go back to your body, feel that part of your body where you struggled with before. And you now feel, is this part more relaxed? Is this feeling changed? You just look, you feel into the body part where you started. How is the movement now? How is the color? How is the shape? Most of them is probably not there anymore. You can't really feel them longer. And that's all good. And if you still feel them, there's no right and wrong in that. I'm just pretty sure that they have changed somehow. So maybe they are a little bit different in their color maybe they are a little bit different in their shape 
Maybe they are a little bit different in some other way. Maybe they are even in a symbol. So if you have something left of that feeling, that part of your body, you now see how you move that part a little bit above your body. So wherever it was, was, if it was in the chest or the solar plexus or your belly or head or throat, you now see it outside your body and you start to fill it up with everything you gave to yourself today. You fill it up with love, being seen and heard. You fill it up with the abilities, the feelings, the emotions, the powers, everything, the beliefs. And then you see that feeling outside your body start to sh different shape, get a different shape. It starts to maybe creates another symbol. You see that a form is changing, the shape is changing, the movement pattern is changing. You see that also the sort of the pure, it's like changing maybe to a symbol, to a figure, something is just being there when it gets everything it needs. And if you can see that feeling now in front of your body somewhere, fill it up with whatever else it needs to be comfortable and gentle to you, so you really have a love relationship to that feeling. And then you put it inside your body again. And you choose if you want to have it on the same place where the other were, or if you want to place it somewhere else in your body. But in the same moment you put it back in your body, you feel that this feeling is creating power inside of you. It's filled with everything you need to be able to handle the next situation in a different way. So now I want you to see yourself back on your timeline. I want you to see yourself even before your own birth, walking on your own timeline towards the present moment and cleaning your timeline from every negative situation that has been there that has to do with this thing that you are now changing in your life or letting go of. So symbolically you clean, you brush, you like whatever you need to do on your timeline to get it clean from all those things. And you take your time on your timeline. It can take a few seconds. It can take up to a minute to go from before your birth to the present moment and cleaning up everything that has to do with that blockage or feeling. And you just see yourself clean. You see all those things getting away because you now created new pathways, new abilities and feelings. So it's no longer needed. You will still have the memories and everything that you still need will still be there. It's just the negative interpretation that you will let go of. And when you come to the present moment, to the now, you spread all these emotions and abilities over your timeline, back in the then and in the future. Spread it in the future too, to make sure that you will always have access to that. And then you go back to your body and feel into your body here and now. Is that part more relaxed? How do you feel right now in your body? If there's still something a bit uncomfortable, you can just notice that could be something to work with later. But if you feel relaxed and still, I want you to put a little seed of warm, warm, comfortable light where you had that other feeling before. 
So you just place that seed there and that seed of comfortable warm light is now spreading from that part of your body all over your body so it could be filling your whole chest solar plexus belly down in your legs down out in your arms up in the throat in the head and it also expands outside of your body creating this light outside the energy field outside your body filled with everything you need because all that you need is there and will always be there it's just sometimes hard to reach but there's nothing you don't have you have it all and you can access everything you need to go through all situations in your life to handle it even though it's painful even though it's you don't like it you can handle it because you have everything that you need and will have from this day into the future so you say thank you to your body you say thank you to your subconscious mind that guided you through this journey today you say thank you for everything that blockage or that uncomfortable feeling tried to save you from and now you are free from that and you can go on in your life without that trigger without that blockage or whatever that is for you and whatever you forget you can just connect to this light inside of you this seed of light where you just place it and remember what you need and you can always always go back to that little child whenever you need if you're triggered or whatever you need in the future you just tell that younger version that you are with them and that everything is okay everything is absolutely okay so just take a little sort of a inner memory of that feeling seeing a situation in the future where you can now handle that situation totally differently from before because this trigger is gone and you see yourself in that future memory handling the situation totally different creating exactly what you want to create yes and you know that this is always available for you and then you can start very slowly to come back to this room again and my voice will now take you more and more back into this room maybe you would like to start to move parts of your body to just know that you are back in the room slowly move your hands your feet maybe stretch parts of your body and when you are ready you slowly start to open your eyes again and very 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 slowly in your own time come back up to sitting if you have that possibility and most of the time this works even though you are not conscious of what happened at all even though you feel that you had didn't see anything or you lost whatever you were doing um it works anyway sometimes we know exactly what has happened sometimes we have no idea my hypnosis teacher she, she always said when i said like i am falling asleep she says how do you know that you sleep And every time when we were doing counting to come up I know that the first 
number I heard was always number five. Mm. Always. And that was the number where we were supposed to open our eyes. And that was the first number I heard always. So even if I was sleeping, that's very interesting to know that that's when you come back. Mm. I hope this hypnosis session was exactly what you were looking for and you could release some blockages and get more erotic flow in your life going. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next session that will pop up either here or here.